थैंक यू प्रोफेसर आशी फॉर योर वैल्यूएबल कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑन टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर बिजनेस इन आवर एम बी एस प्रोग्राम एज यूर गाइडेंस सर दिस असाइनमेंट इज बेस्ड ऑन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फॉर्मिटनल स्ट्रैटेजी इन श्रीलंका पब्लिक एंड प्राइवेट ट्रांसपोर्ट सेक्टर शुड बी डिवेलप सो दैट वी आर ट्राइंग टू अप्लाई ओमिजनल स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर ट्रांसपोर्ट सेक्टर दे आर फॉर वी सिलेक्टेड अवर टॉपिक कैस ओमिजनल स्ट्रैटेजी टू ट्रांसपोर्ट सेक्टर इन श्रीलंका वी ऑल नो दे आर आर सो मेनी इश्यूज इन अवर ट्रांसपोर्ट सेक्टर mainly high cloudiness not working in proper time and scheduled time time wasting horrible behavior of drivers and conductors exploiting commuter by conductors harmful comparison among buses sexual harassment when applying omni channel we can minimize these issues Actually the public transport in Sri Lanka is facilitated through buses and trains. As you know Sri Lanka railway operates the railway service. There is no any private sector provider. The passenger bus services are provided by Sri Lanka Transport Board and many private bus owners. Do you know this is a critical discussion on how sri lankan transportation sector provides a quality service to the commuters using omni channel strategy let's see what is the omni channel omni channel experience refers to an integrated well structured and consistent customer experience throughout all the possible channels that the customer engage with omni channel refers to an approach uh, that uses multiple channels to cater the end user to provide a satisfactory service where all the channels are interconnected to each other from this my part is over i would like to invite to mr mudita to continue this thank you amila uh, for your contribution about omni channel introduction part uh, now uh, let's try to understand what is the difference between omni channel and multi channel actually multi and uh, omni channel has a very little difference there is a slight difference both of channels refers to multiple channels available for consumers however in multi channel there are several channels available but they are not integrated in omni channel all the available channels are integrated when a sector or a business adopts the omni channel approach when one channel enters the details of the consumer it will be integrated with all the other channels this provides an excellent customer service and as well as reduce the hassle throughout the process um, <coughs> actually the transport sector has very uh, limited adapt adaptation of the technology with the emerging technology people can develop the sector to uh, improve the quality of the services the issues uh, earlier mr amila mentioned issues in the transport sector can be minimized using this uh, omni channel procedure mm. the literature review part now i am uh, give a brief introduction about literature review part there are various ways to adopt an omni channel method to a company there will be three easy steps to to introduce omni channel to the transport se sector first one is know your market it is not just about knowing the demography of your target audience but also about ident identify the platforms or mediums they use it is also essential know which device they prefer so you will know after that we are to focus 
on terms of marketing and get the most out of the channel second step is make it easy for customers nowadays customers prefers using different different channels and an uh, effective omni, omni channel strategy uh, assist the connect people wherever possible so we should understand that point uh, third step is integrate offline and online presence when using multiple channels it is crucial that the transition among channels is as smooth as possible the key is to provide an excellent customer experience so if the community is willing to use a mobile app or if they want to visit the operational desk to get assistance service need to be provided flawlessly for example you can see the figure this is a C sydney commuter can easily access the bus new digital bus stop we should thanks mercury innovation and visione so my part is so i would like to invite um, mr harinder he will continue this presentation thanks thank you so much mudita i think so far now you are very clear about to what is omni channel what is different between omni channel and multi channel and past history of this concept now i am going to discuss about what is our proposed plan or method this method use a technology behind the uber concept but not limited to a app it should integrate among many platforms and medium as an example commuter will be able to use system via website mobile apps social media like facebook whatsapp twitter instagram anything initially commuter should be able to insert national identity card number or passport number to create unique portal for each individual while connecting payments mechanism such as credit card or bank account proposed app will be integrated with mobile device laptop desktop and through social media the real time information will be shared with commuter for example the app will not only shows the time if uh, time for the next available bus or train it shows the bus or train been cancelled next available travel in mode using social media the method will be user friendly as all the relevant announcement can be shared using the relevant social media page <coughs> the commuter can be traced the train or bus they wish to travel the bus or the train will get traced using gps technology all recorded data of the passengers are secured the database all the data will be stored in central cloud system initially they can get information of the departure time fare time for the travel and they are able to plan the trip ahead on the day they journey they are able to trace where the train is now how long it takes to travel to pick up points and how much time it will drop the person if if it is overcrowded they can wait for the next arrival train or bus the payment can be made through the same app once the payment made confirm email or confirm sms will be received the commuter this app will be shows vehicle moving so if it is bus and if there is a traffic ahead so can be integrated to the app this will confirm the person that initial estimated time for the travel will be take time ahead reach to the destination with this point i will stop and now i invite my next team member kirushantan to continue this presentation over to you kirushantan thank you mr karendra just now we will see the omni channel can be analyzed from different perspective here we will discuss five perspectives there are organizational perspective customer perspective economic perspective technological viability social viability 
So, me and my friends discuss those perspective with you. Okay, we will see the first perspective of organizational perspective. For public transportation users, currently there is an option which has been provided by the telecommunication providers. For example, we all are know nowadays more telecommunication industries are providing more different facilities to their customers. Mobitel company is providing facility to book the bus and train tickets through online facilities. Dialog company also provide booking tickets online platform. Based on these facilities, customers will get more benefits. First, for reducing time consuming to book the tickets. Greater sales and marketing. So, in future, customers will be increased. A modern approach to booking that scale develop public standard of living. Cost reduction. That means it's scale to paperless transport facilities. Easy to handle customer journey. This will make the process smooth and the work more efficient. Second, customer perspective. The proposed method will provide customer satisfaction. This is more important. Time serving, no need to spend time to booking train or bus tickets. Customer details will be secured. This allows the passengers a safe journey. In future, all the single details will be recorded and secured. Third one, economic viability. In recent time, world has witnessed the emergence of omnichannel retailing, a new form of retailing strategy. This strategy will increase revenue and it will be a positive outcome to the economy. This will attract more visitors and more people trained to use the public transportation. Thank you, sir. Next, Mr. Kulita continue himself. Thank you, Kirusha. In my session, I will explain about the technical visibility of the omnichannel adaptation. Technological implementation is the most important fact for omnichannel adaptation. A strong e-commerce site is an essential part. The combination of desktop and mobile web drives the conversation effectively and increase the user base app. When we are talk about the omnichannel technology, we should deeply think about the challenges faced such as lack of infrastructure, lack of skilled employees, their technical know-how, having a solid system, establish a data center, creating a user-friendly software. Organization needs skilled employees to maintain the system and hold the large scales of information solid system. Lack of personnel with skills and know-how authorized omnichannel strategies is another difficulty when we are facing this model. In addition to that, secure is another major concern. It has been identified that the most countries are victim of such attacks, example ransomware, um, unavoidable threats like systems. In case of a ransomware attack, the total system or a part of a system may be unavailable until the system is restored. In omnichannel strategy, the far end or access level is beyond our control. So therefore, the network management team have a massive responsibility to maintain the security, the central system. Those are the major challenges and threats having faced developing the in implementation like a such system. Thank you.
I will now invite to Kanchana to explain about the social visibility of the our system. Over to you, Kanchana. Thank you very much, Kulita. I am going to discuss the social viability of omni-channel strategy to transport sector in Sri Lanka. The present scenario in the country, majority of the people use public transportation systems such as road passenger transportation and railway transportation to uh, fulfill their transportation needs and wants. It shows there is a high demand for the public transportation systems. Social viability describes the effect on users from introduction of new system. The main advantage after the implementation of omni-channel strategy to transport sector is time saving. In addition to that, it is a very convenient process. Even public can use their mobile devices for booking and selection of different transportation modes as they wish. Above mentioned factors, especially time saving factor, influences to increase the social viability of omni channel strategies for transportation sector. These are the factors I want to emphasize regarding the social viability. Next, I will move to conclusion part. We will see the challenges for the implementing of this model. In these slides indicate some of challenges. Lack of infrastructure. It is a major challenge. Government should introduce data warehouses, modern IT solution such as cloud computing, blockchain technology to overcome these challenges. Then cyber security. It is a critical factor. Phishing emails, fake websites, fake apps are some of factors related to the cyber security. To rectify these problems must enhance or strengthen the cyber resilience, enhance the user awareness and also implementation of business continuity plan. Then level of computer literacy. It is a one of major challenge, especially in the rural areas. With a structural change of, of education system, this can be rectified. Now I am moving to find up my part and the final section of the presentation will be conducted by Ms. Himalka. Thank you Kanchana. As Kanchana explained, there are challenges as well as opportunities in implementing this omnichannel model in any sector. So I would like to talk about the opportunities of, of implementing this omnichannel model. The first important opportunities it can create various number of job opportunities in IT sector and also various unit, units which uh, act in isolation can act as a unified system and achieve a common goal the system is uh, integrated so that the workers can work together and achieve a common goal the other most important uh, advantage of implementing this omnichannel strategy is customer can get a unified experience throughout the entire service process so that the team can deliver a best message to their end users at the right time in the right way so that is the most important advantage in implementing this omnichannel model so the overall customer satisfaction and overall customer experience would be very much high in omnichannel strategy compared to other strategies. So if we implement this omnichannel strategy in transportation system, the transportation system can be taken into a single umbrella and the customers can use a single pass and use it uh, monthly, renew it monthly and use it uh, in any other. With that we have come to the conclusion of our presentation. Before winding up, I would like to sum up the entire presentation so that we can have an understanding about what we have talked about uh, so far. So first we have introduced the model omnichannel strategy and uh, we have identified the industry as trans transportation sector and we have 
this discussed about this implementation of omnichannel strategy in the organization with different perspectives as organizational perspective customer perspective technical viability social viability and economic viability and finally we have discussed about the challenges of implementing this omnichannel strategy and also the opportunities in implementing this omnichannel strategy so uh, with that uh, i think you have gained a sound understanding about this omnichannel model and its implementation in different sectors so i would like to sum up this presentation thank you very much